I'm Rob from Smartboat Innovations. In this video, we will install a fire alarm sensor on our smart boat. Fire alarm sensors typically come with a loud siren, but the problem is if we're away from the boat, we won't be able to hear it. To address this, we need to integrate the fire alarms with our smart boat system so that we can receive a notification on our phone in case of fire or smoke on board. Additionally, we can set it up to activate, say, the outdoor mast horn ensuring that we can hear it even if we're on the beach near our boat. The market offers various fire alarms, and for our setup, we specifically need one with a Zigbee capability. I have selected this Zigbee fire alarm sensor, which is reasonably priced at around $15. This Zigbee fire alarm seamlessly integrates into our Zigbee network, ensuring convenient connectivity. If you haven't set up a Zigbee network yet, don't worry. I have a separate video guide dedicated to that, providing a quick and easy setup. You'll be surprised how simple and straightforward it is to install the Zigbee fire alarm sensor. So let's get started. Here we have the Tuya fire alarm sensor. This device employs a photoelectric mechanism which utilizes a light beam to detect the presence of smoke. On the front is a 80 decibel loud siren which sounds whenever smoke is detected. Also on the front is a test switch to check the operation of the sensor. The device is powered by two AAA batteries. On its rear, a plastic cover can be rotated to access the battery compartment. To ensure secure placement, the package includes a robust 3M double-sided tape. Its bonding strength was so formidable that I was unable to detach it for this demonstration. On the side of the sensor, there is a small hole with reset written below it. To enter pairing mode, we need to use a paper clip or a phone SIM card and keep it pressed until the light on the front starts flashing. The sensor is now ready to be paired with Home Assistant. So here we are in Home Assistant. So we need to add the Zigbee device. So we go to Settings, Devices, find the Zigbee uh, Automation. Click on this and then click on configure. And then the bottom right hand corner we had add device. Now this is where it's going to start searching for the Zigbee devices appeared. So we have to then put the pin inside the, the fire alarm sensor until the light flashes. And here it goes, it's it's found it and it's starting to pair. Um, for this fire sensor, I'm not quite sure why, but it took actually the configuration and this initialization took a long time. So the device is now ready to use. Um, we need to change the device name to something a bit more meaningful because the default one's pretty cryptic. So we'll change it. Change it to fire alarm. Well, let's go back um, to find this new added device. We we'll go back until now we have four devices, before we had three. And here at the top, you can see fire alarm. So let's enter in there. And you see the sensors. We can add this sensor to the dashboard. Let's choose the dashboard, the sensors dashboard that we set up for sensors. Click on next. And here we are. Now the icon is chosen is quite nice and so we don't need to use a different card. So we'll just take the default card it suggests and add it to the dashboard. Let's go have a look at the sensors dashboard and now we have a fire alarm and it says it's clear. Now we need to add an automation to actually check this fire alarm status. So we go automations, create an automation, create a new automation, and add the trigger. And the trigger is going to be whenever the fire alarm state changes. So we have to go to the state one, find the fire alarm. Here it is fire alarm smoke. So we need to see when, whenever it changes to to have smoke detected. Okay, so when it's detected, then it's going to 
initiate these actions. So let's put a few actions in here. Uh, the first one will be, it's going to be a notify, call service a notify. So it's going to put a notification on our companion Home Assistant app on our mobile phone. Let's put a message on there. Smoke detected. Let's, let's copy this message so we don't have to type it for the other actions. Okay, let's add another action. Again, a call service. This time we want us to send us a WhatsApp message. So we look for the WhatsApp service. Again, we put the message that we had previously there. And we added another action. This time it's going to be to start the in the device, which is our indoor siren. So we have the device, indoor siren, and the action we want to turn on the siren. So we have three. I mean, we don't have an outdoor horn on this one, but we could put one if we wanted. And we save the automation, give it a name, something that's meaningful. So fire check. So here we have it triggers when when the smoke is detected. We've got sends a message to our companion app on the phone and also a WhatsApp to our whatever phone we have WhatsApp configured to turns on the indoor siren. And and for example, if we had an outdoor horn, we could switch that on as well. So you can see how easy it was just to to configure a fire alarm and and pair it and configure it in Home Assistant. Thank you for joining me today and exploring the incredible world of smart boating. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate if you hit the like button below. And if you'd like to stay updated with more exciting content on boating and technology, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Your support means a lot and helps me create more valuable videos like this. Until next time, hasta luego.